The next edit we're going to talk about is the connect edit. And the connect edit is something that is uh, hard to explain exactly when it's required because you can pretty much do everything you need to do with the edits we've talked about so far. The connect edit is another way of cutting things together and it, it adds another track to the timeline and it allows you to connect one clip to another and leave it and, and assign it to be linked to that point in time. And actually to do this, I'm going to start by deleting this old cutaway we did here of the looking at the cards. We're going to use a, another version of that shot to do this connect edit. So again, what, what, when you do a drag and drop, let's go up here and, and just mark a little area of that shot here without any hands in it, just where he's looking at the cards there. I'll just again play into out. All right, so we have a nice little section there. It's uh, two seconds long. And by the way, right here, this is where you can tell the duration of the selected area. So um, when, when, once you make a selection, if nothing is selected, that just shows that a clip is selected. It doesn't show how long it is. If you select the clip, it'll tell you the duration. And if you grab an actual piece of the clip, it'll tell you the actual duration you've grabbed. Or again, I think I've got a ding. Maybe the camera's a little bit shaky there. Let's move it over just a tiny bit there. And uh, so I've got the range that I want to edit. And now I want to drop this in, but let's say I'm not sure where I want it to go. I know that at some point while he's looking, we're going to want to put in that, that cutaway to this little POV shot, but I haven't yet decided where I want it to go. So in this case, I'm going to drag and drop, but instead of dragging it onto the main, what we call the primary storyline, this main row of tracks, I'm going to drag it above the primary storyline, and it will become what's called a connected clip. And so the result is sort of like an overwrite edit, Ding. Except we can hear the audio, which we're gonna have to fix. But see, we can. And, and the beautiful thing about this is now ding, I can ding. make an adjustment. I'm just gonna turn that audio down for now. Just we'll come back and talk about how to do that in more detail. But so it's not distracting here. So we see he's looking at the cards before he pokes at it. We can move that over a little bit to decide maybe we want to start a little bit earlier. So it cuts right to the cards. And then we have a little bit more time there. Or we want to change the duration. I want to shorten it a little bit. I can just do that really simply and easily just by clicking and dragging the edge of it and move it around. And so when a clip is on an adjacent track uh, like it is here and it's uh, connected to the primary storyline, it allows you to make adjustments to it without disturbing your primary storyline. It's like it lets you to work without committing to what you want to do. And there's other cases where you're doing compositing. If you wanted a title uh, or you want to do a split screen, you would need to use multiple tracks. And I'll cover all that when we get to the effects module. But for now, we're talking about just editing. Connect is really nice because it allows you to drag a clip right there and position it however you want. Furthermore, the reason we call it connected is because if we pick this clip up that it's attached to and move it, you see that connected clip sticks along with us and it retains its exact position. So because it's connected, it sticks along and wherever I put it, you see it overlaps the next clip there. If I move it back to there and I'll put it back where it was originally. So the, the nice thing about connected clips is that they stay connected no matter what. Now, again, I want to show you just a couple other ways to do that connect edit and then delete that and put my playhead back here. If you use your playhead to determine where you want the connect edit to go, you can do it using the button. Right here is the little connect button. See that performs the edit. Or you can press that Q key or just go to the menu there and say connect to primary storyline. And it will uh, add that to the project there just like that. So the connect edit creates essentially what's like a second track. And you can have more than one of these at once. If I had another shot here just to demonstrate, I could put another shot and put it on top of this one. And so we can have literally three tracks now. So there's no limit to the number of things you can stack up at one point or another. One important thing to understand, though, is that whatever clip is on top is going to obscure what's beneath it. So we cut to there, and then we're going to cut to there and cut back. You see that? So whatever is on top in the timeline is what's going to play, uh, obscuring whatever's beneath it. Let's go ahead and delete that because we don't really want that. Just select and press delete. And back to where we were, shorten that up a little bit. And now we have that nice element integrated into our edit.